Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to create a date time field. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a date field, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial. And this is the main playlist for the Odoo 17, right? And this is the subtopics. And currently we are working on this topic, fields development. And in case you want to learn older versions you can visit the Odoo development and here you can see different topic wise playlist available with the different test cases all right so let's back to our main topic and before that guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will motivate me and it will help me a lot all right so let's create a date time field so in our last session we already discussed how to create a date field right so here we are going to create a new field which is the date time so here if you want to create a date time field right so you must have to import odoo from odoo import the fields okay so this is the fields package you have to mention which type of field you want to create so here you can mention date time d is the capital okay and before that you can add any name the meaningful name of this field you can add here equal to and after you can use like this now this field we have to add in the front end side right So here let's a field name equal to and that field name okay now the thing is we created a new field so for that we have to also upgrade the module so minus u and student in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already created that session all right so now simple we can start the service and it will automatically upgrade this module okay so let me refresh the screen now uh, you can see here once you click right you can see here the calendar is open along with the date and time this is the date and time so let's say you want to add any hours and the minutes right you can use like this and apply save you can do like this or you can also manually add here You can also change here let's say 31st january right you can add here let's say 20. so you can directly add here okay save and that's it so this is the dead field now here the main thing is you can see the label right joining space and that we didn't provide any label name but here would also taking this label right so let's see how it will taking this label only not the different labels right so here you can see we provided here the field name right joining underscore date so Odoo automatically first check in is in case there is some label provided here in the parameter first thing is no the question is no also provided here any string label the question is no okay let's take this field name as a label name so what it does is the it will split into a two parts using the underscore right and it will replace underscore as a space and each word it will represent it will convert into the capital so after that you can see joining that right uh, here you can add string equal to join dead right you can also provide the label as a this one here let's say we have to restart the service and refresh the screen here you can see join that right one more thing is in case you don't want to provide the string right you can use here something like this as a string restart the service refresh the screen and you can see here the, it's changed right the label name is changed after that you can see here the required 
equal to 1 by default it's a 0 1 means it's required so required attribute will help us to mandatory this field okay so let's check once I refresh the screen right let me remove this data the dead and once I will try to save you can see join date is invalid it should not be a blank so this is the purpose of this attribute now let's talk about the read only equal to 1 by default it's a 0 once I re restart the service and refresh the screen here the user is restricted to edit this field so this is the purpose of the read only okay here one more attribute is copy equal to false so copy by default it's a true right so let me give you one example once I will duplicate this record right it will create a new record and here you can see it will taking the older records data here right but now let's say in case I want to duplicate this record and during this time I don't want to use the existing record field value then you can use here comma copy equal to false restart the service right and once you click to duplicate now you can see once create a new record it will automatically set as a null there is a two things here once you provide here copy false right and if you didn't provide here that default value then first thing is it will set the null value in case set value is auto set right here then what happen it will taking this default value so here let's talk about the default attribute okay so this default attribute whatsoever you provide here the value while you create a new record it will automatically set this value into this field okay so let's say I, I didn't add here the correct data right but still I'm using default like this by mistakenly I'm doing this and once I refresh the screen now you can see Odoo automatically throws the error so here why it is not throwing the error why because it's already existing record but let's say if I and once I click here the new button now you can see it's having this error and once you hover you can see the value error time data this does not match the format of this right now here I'm going to let's say change the value is a let's say 2024 let's say one one right I either I will use like this restart the service let me click here the new button and now you can see it will taking this date and time right now here another thing is so let's say by default it's a hour minute and seconds here let's say if I will re restart the service and refresh the screen right you can see here the time is display something like this right here you can see I set already as a 0 0 0 the thing is right now my my local time is IST time right and database time is UTC time so UTC time and my time having a let's say 5 hours and 30 minutes different so that's the reason it will convert UTC date to the IST date so it, that's the reason it will taking like this time another thing is let's say here I'm using 5 hours right so what it does is it store its treat as a UTC date okay and after that it will display to my local date local time zone so here in this case 10 30 okay so this is the global configuration we will uh, discuss about this date and time related specifically for the time zone related session right here our goal is at the moment we have to understand the date time field let's say uh, let me comment it this out now there is a one more thing is one side to create a new record so in that time like it will default it will taking the my current date and time information so how it is possible right so here you can see date fields date time dot now 
right either you can use like this or you can like you can use like this so let's first see with this now as a function parameter right and click to the new button and now you can see it's taking my local IST time okay another thing is like you can use like this also you see this time right now another is the help let me give you small informations about this help right uh, let's say as a end user don't know what is the purpose of this feed right and you want to add some informations to the particular date like what is the purpose right so here the help attribute comes to the picture so it will it will treat as a html toolty you can see here the joining that before the refresh this question mark is not available right and after the help it will display like this so once you hover right it will display this information so let's say i don't know what is the purpose of this field right here and which date i have to choose so here let's say user goes to like this then they can understand okay this this is the joining date of the student so after that they can select the specific date and the time so this is the main purpose of this help and this is actually a very useful now let's talk about the same attributes in the xml level okay let's say you want to change or override your existing label name in the form view then you can use here joining like this and we must have to upgrade the module you can see here join that right like this once you refresh the screen now you can see here it's using like this okay another is the invisible invisible equal to one once refresh the screen so it will automatically hide this field in the form view you see that field is not visible now another is the read only equal to one refresh the screen and now you can see this field is visible but it is a read only right no one will edit this field now let's say required right let me restart the service and once i will refresh the screen so the required attribute is used to let's say once you save the record it will treat as a required field see so here you can see number of four fields is required here right and the last but not the least last holder so again let's say it's not treat as a tooltip right what we discussed here help so it's a different one so once the particular field is empty or the set as a null right you can see right now it's filled with the date and time once i remove now you can see here please enter student joining that so this is the plus holder and once the date is here right this field is automatically filled with the value then automatically hide that string value the message what we passed using the plus holder okay so this is the way you can create a date time fit if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be the relational field and many to one all right so see you there